Alex here with an event video on Marlon Brown versus Brian Williams, the warden, a case involving a prisoner's habeas corpus petition for release following his felony convictions for shooting his ex-girlfriend in the leg and District Court Judge Michelle Levitt's corresponding imposition of a 45-year prison sentence. Media coverage on this case is intertwined with and in some ways stems from the disciplinary proceedings brought against Justice of the Peace Melanie Andrus Tobiasen, who called the now defunct top notch apparel store, which the defendant owned, quote, a front for prostitution, unquote, and was part of the focus of her defense against the charges leveled against her by the Commission on Judicial Discipline. Allegations of bias began to bubble up against Judge Levitt and came to a head when defense attorney Craig Mueller cited an article published by the Nevada Current in his brief to the Supreme Court, citing significant links between the defendant and alleged pimp Shane Valentine, who, Judge Tobiasen, alleged in a police memorandum, frequented Top Notch and appeared to be targeting the daughters of judges for prostitution, including Judge Levitt's. Judge Levitt denied allegations that her daughter had ties to Top Notch and any of the persons frequenting the store and filed an affidavit denying any awareness of any connections between the defendant and any of her family members, which ultimately led Chief Judge Linda Marie Bell to deny requests to disqualify her from the case. Defendant's post-conviction attorney, Michael McAvoy Amaya, continued to apply pressure in seeking a change of venue, which ultimately led to Judge Levitt's attempt to voluntarily recuse herself, only for District Court Judge Michael Villani, the chief of the criminal division, to send the case back to her, citing her withdrawal was, quote, filed in error, unquote. Mr. Mikavoyamaya called out, quote, extreme, insidious judicial, prosecutorial, and judicial misconduct, unquote, in the case, and, quote, numerous proceedings related to Marlon Brown, unquote, citing, quote, a shocking willingness to engage in fraud and deceit, unquote, by Judge Levitt, including actions that were, quote, expressly intended to deny Marlon a fair trial, direct appeal, and habeas proceeding, unquote. Veteran Las Vegas attorney Andrew Levitt, who is both Judge Levitt's brother and is leading the defense of a reputation, expressed outrage in a complaint filed with the state bar, calling for the disbarment of Mr. Mikaboyamaya on the basis that he is, quote, a liar who is willing to say just about anything without any proof, has no moral character, is clueless, and is obviously not mentally fit to practice law, unquote. Ultimately, Mr. Mikavoyamaya was able to secure a change of venue, as Chief Judge Linda Marie Bell cited a recent decision by Chief Justice James Hardesty on the Code of Judicial Conduct and the importance of avoiding the, quote, appearance of impropriety, unquote. We filed a media request and Senior Judge Stephen Kasach has granted that request, allowing us to provide indefinite electronic coverage of the proceedings, the first of which is a hearing scheduled May 19th, 2021 at 11 a.m. The state of Nevada is represented by Alexander Chen. The defendant is represented by Michael Mikavoyamaya. You can keep up to date with our coverage schedule by visiting ournevadajudges.com and as with our previous videos, feel free to post any questions you have down in the comments below or you can send us an email at admin at ournevadajudges.com. Okay, why don't you give me the statue? I'm not putting up with any of the crap here today. The court will take this matter under submission. This is the time set for your hearing on custody. Don't unpack. That's not what Jay's hearing's for.
weeks. The likely result of that is he will be remanded into custody. Okay, and uh, are you opposing that? Counsel, your appearances for the record.